I think it's safe to say that at some point we've all been guilty of window shopping. And if you haven't been guilty of it, then I'm sure you're lying. Uh, with the holiday seasons coming up, this is something a lot of people tend to do. They look at something in a window and they immediately write it on their list for that's what they want for the holidays. Window shopping is something that happens whether it be a big business or a small business. When it comes down to it, the way that the window display looks is what grabs the person's attention. I'm here to explain the importance of window displaying in the business world today. It really is key to attracting a customer to come in and to sell, sell, sell. I'll go through a few key tasks and main points that you want to look at while um, doing a window display. If you're an employee at a um, a small business or large business is something that you need to understand to do if there are windows that need to be done. <clears throat> uh, the three main things that are key are definitely understanding the clientele around the area, understanding the merchandise, and also understanding the look. With the clientele, you really want to know who is going to be walking past your window and why, how, ma how many people walk past, how many people are around the area at that time, or yearly, for instance. <clears throat> uh, small businesses tend to focus a lot more on their window displays because it might not be franchised and well known to other people around the area. Um, let's see, Jeanette Dvorak, she is a uh, business owner for Bangles and Bags in the historic Third Ward. Uh, it is a jewelry and handbag store um, they also carry other merchandise as well, like hats and scarves and things like that. She told me that her biggest thing to every employee she has is for them to understand how to put together her window and the way that she likes them displayed. Because she's had the store for over three years now, and it really has helped her regain a business and have people keep coming back. And even having someone walk past the window and pop their head in and say, I like that, can you put it on hold, I'll be back in a minute. You know, even that, it just, it really helps a business bring in customers. <clears throat> um, you're not going to enter a store without looking in the window first, so it definitely is key. Um, the clientele in the Milwaukee Third Ward, for example, <clears throat> is very, it's spacious. There's so many people from... Um, surrounding schools, colleges, to uh, restaurants, um, wineries, and other places that people come for traffic. So it might not be an everyday person that comes by, but it's also travelers. So people who have never heard of her business, she likes to make her windows look good so that they can be attracted to it and let other people know who might not be from around the area to attract them to come as well. Uh, the next big thing after understanding the clientele is understanding the merchandise. You need to know the merchandise you have to fill a window. <clears throat> um, if you don't understand your merchandise, then you might not display things the right way. For instance, you don't want to put something in the window that you only have one of in stock because people are going to be looking at that in the window. They're going to come in and they're going to say, I'd love to see that scarf in the window. Do you have it in any other colors? Do you have more than one? And you don't want to say that's our only one. It's for display only. That, you know, so what's the point then? You don't you don't want to give them something that you don't want to give them something to look at that isn't that you don't have more of or something to give them. You don't want to let the customer down. Um, also, by understanding the merchandise is also a good way to display the things. For example, I have here a hat from Bangles and Bags and a scarf. You might think, okay, cool, a hat and a scarf. But in all reality, they complement well together. You want to know that you have the scarf and you have a hat and just to simply hang it and put the hat on top, it, it upsells the customer. They'll see the scarf and they'll think, oh, I really like that hat with it too. You want to do something like that. You want to draw the attention around other pieces of merchandise. You really can play around with everything you have. Also, by understanding the merchandise, you don't want to just simply put just hats and scarves in a window. If we're talking about, for instance, relating back to bangles and bags, if you're an employee there, you don't want to just put the hats and scarves in the window. 
you want to put the necklaces you have, the bracelets, the hair items, anything, purses that you have and you want to lay them out together and make it look like you went on a shopping spree and picked out an outfit for the night. Um, it really, it really matters a lot. And with the holidays coming up too, these businesses really rely on their windows looking nicely. Um, for instance, um, at the historicward.org, they every year take pictures of the smaller businesses in the third ward and put pictures of their window displays online. And people can go there and they can vote for which one they like the best. Lots of people don't know about this, but when it comes to uh, businesses and competition, it really, it really matters because that's the type of thing that draws a customer in. <clears throat> All right, the next thing that you really want to understand is the look. And what I mean by look is understanding what's going on in the world today. What holiday is it? What time of the year is it? You don't want to put something summery in a window when it's winter out. <clears throat> um, also, the things that you're selling, are, are, are they yearly or are they monthly or are they seasonally? You want to make sure that you're putting things in the window that are um, supporting what's going on at that time too. Um, with, for example, with the holidays coming up, you could easily put something in a window um, that has to do with the holidays, a simple Santa hat or a holiday cup, just to you know show that you're celebrating the holidays as well. Um, you don't ever want to overfill the window space. You want to know that you have just enough in there for someone to look at and if, if uh, they think about, if, and if they look at something else, you don't want them to get sidetracked and think, wow, that's too much, you know, there's too much going on in this window and their mind's going a million miles an hour because they can't decide which, what they like best. Um, and the target audience is really what matters in your window display. You want to go into it, into the display, knowing what you want to do. Who is your target audience at? Who is your clientele? You know, what merchandise do you have for that season? Um, you want to make sure that it looks exactly how you would want to look at something um, if you were walking past a window. So with that all being said, we talked about the clientele <clears throat> and how important it really is because that's those are the people that are coming in and spending the money and giving the business you know a good rep um, we talked about the merchandise and how important that is and understanding what you have to fill a window and how you can display things perfectly so that it looks nice together and then we also talked about the look and these three main points really just all add up together to a perfect window display Susan Steiner, another small business owner, she's been in business for 10 years with another jewelry and handbag business, Bangles and Bags, and she said that the key thing to her business is understanding how much to buy <clears throat> for each season. She goes, then I come and take that to my employees who I let them do the window display and I want them to know that this is what I have, this is what I'm showcasing for this month, this is what I want you to put in the window. Understanding that and knowing that from your manager or whoever you know you, the merchandise you're using from, that really is key because when in a, when a person comes in to buy it, then you're able to explain to them how much you have of that thing, and that's the type of merchandise you want to put in the window. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things that we talked about today. Um, feel free to just simply go past a window sometime. Walk past a small business. Recognize what's in the window. Does it catch your attention? Does it have to do with what you're looking for? Um, it, really, it really matters because things like that switch up all the time. Um, you really want to go with good color schemes and everything that can complement each other because if you don't, then things could, things could go bad for the business.